very exciting. I've never done this before, but I have my friend, fellow uh, YouTuber. Hi. And fellow podcaster with me at Hallmarkers Podcast, Amy Lynn Craig's here. Hello. And I thought, what could we do that would be fun since she's coming for a visit? Yes. And we decided, why not make us try really weird stuff? So yes. <laughs> we are doing the weird fruit challenge. <laughs> yeah. Is that a challenge? Yeah. I spent like 50 bucks on a whole bunch oh of weird God. fruit. <laughs> I would really have so much fun talking about it. Okay. So, yes, I have never tried any of these except for the star fruit. That's the only one I've ever I've tried. I've never had any of these before, so it should be oh. interesting. So, uh, do you have a preference which one we try first? Nope. Stay okay. <laughs> Let's try the pepino. This is called a pepino melon. Okay. Here. So, we're just, just going to eat like it kind of like. Kind of disappointing. I wish it had more of a flavor. Yeah, it's a little bland. It's like, just like bland cantaloupe. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like. But it's not gross. Yeah. It's just not. It's not satisfying. <laughs> but it does look really pretty. It has white and then purple. Purple. It looks. The actual fruit looks kind of like a potato almost. So kind of just. It does. It's like a wet potato. <laughs> Yeah, wet potatoes here. Okay. Next, let's try. How about we try the Buddha's hand next? Okay. And it's I think you're supposed to like candy this and stuff, but so. It looks so creepy. But it smells so good. It does. It's so citrusy. Okay. And. I'm just gonna... I can't like bite into it. Does it have a taste? I'm basically like eating lemon peel. Yeah, so you to get the same effect, just take the lemon and bite into it. Um, it's not like... If, like it probably would be really good candied. Yes. If it's you took it and like you like hard. cooked it in sugar. <laughs> but yeah, it's very like... <laughs> it, it's a weird texture. It's kind of a weird texture. <laughs> I should have like eating a zombie hand. Yeah. Or what I could imagine that would be like. Okay. <laughs> that was uninteresting to me. All right. <laughs> well, let's try one. I'm pretty sure it will be delicious. So this looks really disgusting. Is that the passion fruit? It's passion fruit. Okay. Do we need a spoon for this? Mm -hmm. Alrighty. But they gave it that name because they wanted everybody to try it. Even though it looks disgusting. <laughs> kind of like the f caviar fruit. Alright. I don't know about that. Okay. Let's see. It's a little bit more sour than I was thinking. Oh. <laughs> that was pretty sour. Ew! You don't like it. <laughs> no! <laughs> That's, That's the first big miss. Gross! Did you like it? It's just, it was more sour than I was thinking about. I didn't hate it. It tastes like a Sour Patch Kid that was dipped in like the extra sour stuff. Yeah. And then made wet. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought of it. Okay. <laughs> like, mm. interesting. <laughs> yeah. It's probably not like maybe it's not like ripe. I, right. Right. But how do you know? Like we don't know. How do you know how passion fruit is ripe? Like, is the color different? Okay. This is called Chermoya. And evidently, on Chopped, they said that if you if you uh, eat the seeds, it's like poisonous. Great. So, we're going to make sure we don't eat the seeds. I already de-seeded it. Okay. And it's... It's like mushy. Yeah, it's really mushy. I, I don't know if mine is... The... It looks like baby food. Yeah. <laughs> it. Is it that bad? Not my favorite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> tastes like medicine. Yeah, it does taste like medicine. <laughs> and like not like new medicine. <laughs> like kinda old medicine. <laughs> like it, it's pretty weird. Like some Motrin that's been sitting in your cabinet. And for it's kind of like if you ever had a persimmon, you run it. 
Mm -mm. What's that? Persimmons, uh, they're like a um, orange fruit that you have in the fall. And they they can kind of, if you don't get it really, really ripe, they can leave kind of a, like a chalky kind of taste in, in your mouth. Either way, they can be really good, but you have to have them like super ripe. And I kind of felt a little bit of that, but, you yeah. know, anyway. Uh, okay. Interesting. So this next one is called Ki Kiwano, and it's a, s a horned uh, melon. As my friend over here said, <laughs> it's like something out of Monsters, Inc. So. Yeah. Should be tasty, right? Yeah, I usually go for Monsters, Inc. food. <laughs> and I'm looking for tasty food. <laughs> uh, okay. What do you think? It's kind of a weird green color. Kind of uh, yeah, it's kind of like eating the inside of a cucumber. A cucumber. Okay, well I like cucumbers, so this should be. <laughs> it's like you can, like stab it. <laughs> it's a weird texture. It's really. Weird. It does taste like a cucumber though. Yeah, the inside. It's just yeah. like, I'd rather eat a cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> like. All right. <laughs> what? Next up. We have star fruit. <laughs> and this is the only one I've had before. Uh, star fruit isn't that bad, right? No. Let's see. I've never had it. It's kind of weird. <laughs> it doesn't have a ton of flavor, but yeah. I like it just fine. It bad. looks pretty. If you're making a fruit tray, they look really pretty on a fruit tray. All right, almost done. We got three more. Well, this is called a quince. Which is, it's like a cross between, evidently it's a cross between a pear and an apple. Ooh. If it's a cross between a pear and an apple, why is it so dry? No. <laughs> I don't think it's literally cross, but I think that's the way people describe it. This is so unbelievably dry, and both pears and apples I see is like juicy <laughs> fruit. <laughs> it's kind of dry. And this is like... Knock on it. <laughs> it's like barely wet. <laughs> yeah, that one's disappointing. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, this one's called Feola. Feola. It's supposed. It's off of like some kind of shrub. So that's very interesting. Shrub. Okay. This is a weird looking. <laughs> I need better descriptive words for things. This is. Oh, I just like that. It's kind of like a kiwi. Yeah. Not my favorite. <laughs> I think I need to stick to like an apple <laughs> after this. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna get too adventurous. <laughs> okay, last one. Last one. We made it through. This is a rambutan, which is basically like a lychee. Mm -hmm. And uh, kind of looks like a scallop. Nope. I'm gonna eat this one. Do you have to eat the seed? Mm. It's like a cherry. Oh, I hate cherries. Mm -hmm. I eat it outside. I like these. Oh, you're good. There's not really a flavor to it, though. They're pretty, yeah. They're <laughs> it's just kind of squishy. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> it's just squishy. There's like no flavor. So. Okay, let's see. Now that you've been very brave. Mm -hmm. Which is your favorite and least favorite of the weird fruit? Favorite star fruit. Star fruit, yeah, that's what it's called. Least favorite, um the the hard finger thing. <laughs> what was yeah. that called? The Buddha's hand. The Buddha's hand, yeah, no, that was that was the like you couldn't even bite into it. In fairness, I don't think we prepared it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> good so, point. so I think if I candy it, it will be actually really good. Mm -hmm. Or like cook Maybe it in some way. It, yeah. Maybe. Um I think my favorites, I like the Rambutan, star fruit, and this was, I thought, actually pretty good. Um, and then uh, my least favorite was probably, it's probably the weird, the chamoya. <laughs> it's, just, it's just kind yeah. of like, it what looks like is it? baby food ish. It's just. Yeah. Look it edible. doesn't look appealing at all. No. <laughs> Especially knowing that the seeds are poisonous, I'm like, well, then maybe you just shouldn't eat it. <laughs> the thought. Yeah. 
So, uh, but I don't know. I had fun. You yeah, had fun? this is fun, enjoyable. I know some <laughs> new, interesting things. And some fruit that you know we'll never yeah. eat again. And I can say I tried it. So right. there you go. <laughs> So, why don't you tell everybody about your channel, where they can find you. So, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at It's Amy Craig, and on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Stars, where there is going to be daily vlogs for my trip to visit Rachel here in Utah, as well as a little bit in Las Vegas, and me hanging out with my friends. So, it's going to be really cool vloggy videos over there. Yes. Uh, make sure you check that out. I'll have it all in the description section. And make sure you check us both out on Hallmarkies Podcast, because yes. we have so much fun. And uh, yeah, you can follow me here at Rachel's Reviews and all of our social media. It's super fun. And uh, yeah, that was very fun. So let us know what you think. And if you've tried any of these weird fruits, what do you think? And let us know in the comments section. What should we try next? Woohoo! <laughs>